Hey, church family, thanks for taking a moment to meet with me so we can have a time of devotional here together. In Proverbs chapter 17, verse 2, it says this, A servant who deals wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully and will share in the inheritance as one of the brothers. Somebody said one time, that's not the hand you're dealt, it's how you play it. I guess there's some truth to that. We need to make the best of every situation that we're ever faced with. And in this proverb, the point behind it is that even if you're in a position where you seem to be at a disadvantage, if you will just live wisely, then you'll do better than someone who had a better position to start with, or they had a better hand to, to start with, and they did not do well in managing it, or they did not act wisely. They acted as a fool. They acted shamefully, meaning that they did things that people would not be pleased to know about and things like that. So what's the point behind this proverb? You know, all the proverbs are little tidbits of wisdom for life, for you and for me. In the context of the Bible, we know that to walk wisely is to walk in the counsel of God, to live according to His Word and to live according to His Spirit and as it leads. And so what you and I have to realize is that even though we may be in a different position than other people are in the world around us, it really all matters how do we walk in the eyes of the Lord. If we can get that right, then what this proverb is saying is you'll do better than someone who seemed to have had a better hand dealt to them, seemed to have been born into maybe more of an advantage, or maybe they haven't come up against the same difficult circumstances that you have. But because of the choices, the way they manage, the way they steward, those kinds of things, they're going to put themselves then at a disadvantage because they have squandered the opportunity that's been given to them. And in fact, if we walk wisely, if we do what's right, then according to this proverb, we're going to be honored as if we were a son all along. In other words, if we live rightly before the Lord, if we walk according to His Spirit, and we do those things, then we're going to be honored as if we were a son, and as if we were given that point of advantage. We're going to be able to work hard and try hard and uh, be able to have so much more at our disposal because we were faithful over what God did give to us. And so instead of being like jealous of somebody who had more or had a different opportunity than you have, make the most over what God has given you. Be faithful where God has you right now and be faithful with what He has put in your charge at this moment. And then from there, you're going to see that you can be wise with that and you'll be trusted with more. I think that's a principle that carries through with the Scriptures. But I just want to make it abundantly clear that even though this is a proverb, the point that it's making is we should walk in the wisdom of God. We should walk according to His Word and according to the leading of His Holy Spirit. If we'll do those things, then we will certainly be a servant or a son who deals wisely and does not bring shame or reproach onto our choices, our decisions, and our actions. And so I want you tonight to be encouraged to do the best with what you have right now. Whatever God's put before you, be wise with it, be trustworthy with it, and see if God doesn't reward you and take care of you in the days to come. God bless you. Thank you for meeting with me just for a moment to have a time of devotional, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.